Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to make chana masala, chickpeas masala. We have the ingredients here. We have we cut a large, chopped a large onion into square pieces, some coriander, chana masala. I'll put a link for chana masala. You can always buy them for your local supermarket or Asian supermarkets, groceries or bigly large supermarkets. Uh, we have some, we just cut off one large pepsicum, green pepper, two tins of um, chickpeas, boiled chickpeas, chana, uh, a large tomato chopped in small pieces. And here we go, I'm going to warm up the fan and put a large tablespoon or cooking spoon of pure ghee. Right, so we tip in the garlic. Tip in the garlic now, we tip in the garlic. The onions. Now we are going to put some masala spice. Salt, yeah. We're going to chip some salt, a little bit of salt. Just about a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to put the lid on for a couple of minutes. The object is to put the lid on so it simmers and also cooks. You've got to make sure you don't, the onions and your onion don't burn. So basically, it's um, the reason you put the lid on is to speed your cooking process. Alright, so we decided we're going to put some green chili. If you have green chili, you can put green chili. But we like, um, well, I, I can take hot sometime. I can really, I don't usually eat hot, so but this time I decided I can, I just want to have a, put a couple of green chili there. So we put a couple of green chilies. You don't have to, by the way. Right, now it's about the time. You just need to put the pepsicum in. So we're going to put the pepsicum in now. So we, we are going to put one, two teaspoon of chaat masala. So why am I keep saying chaat masala? Chana masala. So we put two teaspoon of chana masala. And also we will put mixed curry powder. Oh, 
one teaspoon of muscari powder, one haldi, So, ladies and gentlemen, we have, spice-wise, we put two teaspoons of chana masala, one teaspoon of mixed curry powder, did you put one? And one teaspoon of haldi powder. So ladies and gentlemen, so far what we did, so we got the frying pan, we put the ghee and then the garlic, then the chopped onions and then we put the capsicum, green pepper and then the chili, green chili and the spices we put two teaspoon of chana masala, one teaspoon of mixed curry powder one teaspoon of haldi powder so far and some salt to taste right we are going to put the chana in now Mix it well in. Now, because the chana is already boiled boiled chana chickpeas so we don't have to wait till it gets ready we're just going to dip put the tomatoes in as well at the same time now Now uh, we are coriander is going in. What you need to do now is leave the leaves on for a couple of minutes, it's about five minutes on a slow gas and your chana masala will be ready to serve, simple as that. So we finished cooking our chana masala, now we're going to serve in a little bowl. There we are. Right, this is similar to the ones that you'll have when you go to your British Indian restaurant. Similar sort of thing, but what they do, they're not going to put the big Pepsi gum or things like that. Well, they're just simple ones, so there we are. As you can see, I'm going to go down here. Hopefully, it should taste delicious. Now, have a go at try at home. Make one of those. 
hopefully you like it you're not going to be disappointed and it will be you can feel you can taste it different than having it on your Indian restaurant or you know your curry house or takeaway you have this will really literally take your breath away so thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other video please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and hopefully you will help me to get achieve my goal of going over 100,000 subscribers I'm hoping to get within hopefully within two years thank you so much